Hello, this is part 10 of uh, valuing options using binomial tree. Just now we used several things to back out our option value at earlier notes. Our first step, we used these two to find 2415. In the second step here, we take these two to get 5.53 and in our third step we take these two to get 15.26 so we can in our third step start at the end we find the value of the option at the end and we go back in time and figure out what the option value is if it's here move back in time, move back, move back, until we get to the option value here, and that is the amount, the value of the European call. This is a completed version of the earlier example. So here we have 2415 we did earlier, which is our 1. 5.73 is our 2. This is our 3. The other values are doing the same process, and I end up with all these various numbers. At the end, our call, European call option is worth 5.597. So this is based on the expected stop price at the end, step 4. Uh, looking at what the European call option is at that time, the value of those, discounting back uh, using the probability of the stock price up or down. The next thing we'll look at will be a European put. In this case, let's look at European part first. So this is also European, meaning it's only uh, it can only be exercised at the end of the fourth step. So here, also just like the European call, I only apply this formula the maximum of 0, k minus s, on the very end of the step 4. I do not apply this formula in the earlier notes because for European option, it can only be used or exercised at the end. So here this is a put option. So this is the option profit or value. So here I have k minus s. k is 110 we used earlier. Our stock price would be 146.4. Here the stock price tree do not move. We always have one point, uh, 146.4 if the stock price is about four times in a row. In this case, this is a put. We can sell things, we can uh, have a right to sell things at 110. So let's think through this. The market price is 146.4. You have two choices. One, I sell in the market, I get 146.4. Your second choice is I exercise my put option and I sell it to someone at 110. I receive 146.4, I receive 110, of course I receive 146.4. I will sell in the market. So for the put option, if the stock price go up, it has no value because it's a put option. Take note, this is the opposite of a call. For a call, stock price go up, you benefit. For a put, you have the right to sell things at the predetermined strike. You profit when the stock price go down, and that's what we see here. If we go down to the very bottom, this is the stock price of 60. 8.3 for the stock price moving down four times in a row. Here the market price is 68.3. So I have two choices. One is I sell to the market at 68.3 or I or I, uh, I exercise, my, exercise my put option and sell at 110. Here of course I would sell using, I would sell, uh, using the option and my profit is 41.10. Uh, similarly, I apply to this note, 82.6 is the market price. My profit is 27.40.
in this note my profit is 10. So I apply the same concepts as in the European call, but I get different values if it's a European put. Along the same line, I take these two using the same process as earlier, exactly the same. So I have P, 1 minus P, and discount back. And this is the price tree for the option at each note. At the end, my put option, European put option value is 11.5. So this is the European uh, option version.